This title effect is called Paint Splatter. It's the second variation of my grunge title effects. The layout's a little different and you have uh, some different controls and there's no background rectangle built into this one. So what you see here is basically the text on top of a shape generator that I use to help set it apart from the background. This particular effect is grouped into three sections. There's the main colorizing section, which involves the gradient one and these layer strength controls and the horizontal and vertical scale. This gradient here has to deal with the internal, I guess they would be like noise makers. I've got three different things in here to help randomize this look. It's the same three things that are in the erosion. They're just applied a little differently. Plus, this one allows you to blend the internals to create different kinds of looks. So, let's see what happens when we deal with this. I have this originally keyframed. Let me undo this. So that you can see over time that... the paint kind of bleeds into this effect for this particular setup but I just need to go over the parameters here you can change colors change the influence of each color with the interpolation you can go from constant which this is which is like a palette of colors to a gradient of colors with continuous and then you would have to stretch this out a little bit more so you have that option the interpolation works from the left side to the next stop okay so if you click on this swatch and go to constant, it'll go from constant there. This one is still separate continuous, but since it's the last color, it doesn't really matter. If I add another color here, then you see that it's a gradient blend from this green to this magenta color. And that's actually kind of cool. All right, let me dial this up. We're done with the color. You can play with the strengths to change the arrangements a little. Uh, the layer one strength is smaller pieces of change and they increase in size to the layer four strength. You can scale them horizontally and vertically. Uh, this particular gradient has to do with what was the cell size in the erosion filter. Again, you can use color gradients and with this one you can change the blend modes. Let me go to add, go to hard light, to get different effects. Well, let's try difference. Change the size. Smaller makes it look like scaly metal. Larger makes it look like paint blobs. Now up in here you can see these little wisps of white. That is the caustics. And you can change that color. And the brightness refraction here. Now with this one you can click on the number and drag it up. Let me take out some of this other stuff so you can see it better. 
Let's go with um, on the gradient. I'm just going to knock this out. And on this gradient, I think I'll just knock this down. Okay, and let's go back down to this. Let's take this back up to white, and you can do something like that. That almost looks 3D, doesn't it? Uh, you can change the noise amount. with this control here. Oh, you can also change the blend mode for this. Let's see what's a good one to use. That's not going to make much difference with this. You'll have a bigger effect with uh, these colors if you've got them back in and let's do this one. And down here we can go to add, lighten it up a bit. You have a drop shadow here. Now this drop shadow is an actual shadow. But if you use the drop shadow on the text panel, And you keep the distance low and the blur turned up a bit. You can make this look like it's a extruded shape a little bit, sort of rounded, but it kind of nice. Hope you find it useful. I'll catch you on the next one.